because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Too bright. <laughs> This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. This post-fight interview is going to be longer than Denzel's fight tonight. Yeah, man. Nah. Uh, yeah, man. Look, good performance, but I'm happy with that. That was that was quite sick. Well, be honest. We know Kieran Smith is a, you know, fundamentally very good. Um, comes in with good experience as well. Did you expect it to be like that tonight, Denzel? No, no way. I expected to get him quite late, like going to the fifth, sixth, to the end of the fight. I thought he was going to start off a bit cagey, which he did, but. I'd, yeah, I'd, listen, I just caught him with a good shot coming in with the left hook at first and I just I took the opportunity. How many seconds was it? I think I heard it was 35. 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that puts out a serious statement to say that you're back. I mean, you're coming off a loss to arguably one of the best fighters in the world in your division. So, in some sense, it wasn't. But to, to the rest of the division, maybe, who thought you might fade off after that loss against Janovic. <laughs> you certainly haven't. No, man, definitely not. And that's what I had to show. I keep, you know, everyone keeps giving me praise for that loss. One, I don't really like taking praise for losing. But secondly, I've I, I got, a, you know, I got to take it and consider it like, you know what, I put up a good performance. I'm not a bad position. Keep going. You could do better next time. But at the end of the day, I just want that to be, I just want that to be put behind me. That's part of my story. I know that's what I've done, but I, I could do it again. I don't want that to be, everyone keeps saying, oh yeah, Janovic, oh, look what you've done. Like that's the best thing I've done. I had to prove today again that I am at that level, not just because of what I've done in a loss against you know, one of the best fighters in the world, but what I can do to other fighters and as I progress back to that journey. I ain't had a long career. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been pushed into big fights quite early and, and I take a loss, every time I take a loss, I come back to, to, a, to a credible fighter, to a, to a dangerous fighter that wants to push on. But I, I keep showing my level, I keep showing my, I'm, I'm determined. That's it. I just want to be a world champion. I want to be at the top of the sport and nothing's going to hold me back from doing that. Just talk me through that finish. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, I, I, he started off cagey, he started off kind of cagey. I, I took a couple shots in the glove, got his range, felt his speed. I knew he had fast hands, so I didn't want to just rush at him. I thought I was, it was going to go a bit later, if I'm being honest. So then, three or four shots, then I just tucked up to see if I can get him to throw a backhand. As I was walking in, I was going to throw a jab, but I thought, let me see if I can get this right hand in. I threw the right hand, I missed, and I clipped him with a left hook. As I clipped him with a left hook, I seen him move a bit funny. So I've, I've thought, don't rush it, come again. I tried to go down to the body, come up with the left, but I missed it. And then I just, I was finishing up a combination. So I hit him with that right and that right I just sent him to sleep. Right, well, there's a couple of middleweights in this promotional stable. Um, you've got Nathan Heaney, which I know you've expressed, expressed interest. If he has a fight at Stoke, you'd be more than willing to go there and fight him. There's also Hamza Shiraz. So talk to me about those situations, Denzel. Yes, man, I'll go anywhere and fight anyone. Um, Nathan Heaney wants to fight. That's a fight there that, that's possible. It's, it's in the stable. It's not going to be a hard fight to make. It's not, you know, it's, it's not difficult. Hamza Shiraz is in the same stable. It's not a difficult fight to make. We're there. But of course, it's got to make sense for all of us. We've all got, we've all, we've all got to want it. Not saying anyone does and anyone doesn't, but we've all got to want it. We've all got to realise what we want in our careers and where we want to be. And if, it's the, if this is the path we have to take to get to where we want to be, then let's take it and mix it and fight each other. I've shown I'm ready to mix it and fight with anyone, you know what I'm saying? You know, out of the two of them, I'm the one with two losses because I've taken chances, I've taken risks, and, you know, I've come up short, but I've proved again that I've bounced back stronger every time. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm happy with where I am. We've got so many options. The European title's there. There's vacant world titles. There's so many options. These fights can be made for big things. Or it can be made now. It don't matter to me. <laughs> you say that. I mean, both you and Hamza have gone on record and said that you'd take it now. You would do as fighters, but your promoters, uh, Frank Warren and George Warren, have said... Really, that fight with you and Shiraz is bigger than a British title. So can you see maybe the thinking in that and maybe to delay it a little bit? Do you see that business-wise? It is, it is, it definitely is. But I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm game. If someone put the contract to me in my face right now, it's one of those things where it's like, I talk to my team, I'm game. If they tell me we're going for it, we are going for it. Do you know what I'm saying? But you're right. Um, and if that's what Hamza said, he's right too. This can be made for something big. So we can put. To be fair, Hamza is saying what you're saying. Let's make it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's not. I've heard him yesterday saying he'd like to fight me soon. But we're both saying the same thing, but both ways. Like, if it's later, it doesn't matter to me. It can be made, for, it can be made bigger. Like, no one's risking, even if he was to take a loss, he just have to come back and it's still big. We're in the same stable. People keep calling for it. People keep asking. Every time I'm having an interview, his name comes up. I'm, I'm not sure if my name comes up when he's having interviews, I'll, I'll be honest, like, yeah, so it comes up and it's the same answer for both of us, is yes. As far as, like you said, if it can be made now, perfect, but if promoters feel like they see, um, they see a benefit in, in holding it off for longer, 
I'm not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I don't think anyway. We're at the same stable. If it's going to be down the line for something bigger, perfect. But I ain't never turned down the fight and I don't feel like starting now. But if it's down the line, perfect. If it's now, perfect. You believe you can stop Hamza Shiraz? I believe I can stop anybody I land a good shot on. And yes, I can believe I can block, stop Hamza Shiraz. That won't be serving a question. I believe I can stop Hamza Shiraz, yeah. Well, there was certainly a stoppage victory tonight. 35 seconds, Denzel Bentley, well done on keeping the British title. And we'll speak soon. Top man. Awesome, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 